Hi guys, today we are gonna learn about the 404 page and see how we can design a 404 page quickly using Elementor Page Builder. 404 page is a page which does not exist on your website. Let me explain. Suppose you have a service page which page's URL is look something like this. If someone want to visit your page by typing on the browser search bar and it's very natural to misspell the name of the page. The user may be typing something like this, or this, or this. So that's why the 404 page helps the user to indicate them that they are doing something wrong. It's also visually better to see a custom design 404 page than a blank page. WordPress provides a 404 page by default, but it's super boring and not very attractive to the user. And you can't change its design without writing code. To solve this problem, Elementor Pro comes with the theme builder where you can create a fully customizable 404 page. You can add any content and design it like any other pages. To get Elementor Pro, you can check the link in the description. Okay, now let's design our 404 page. Today we are going to design this custom 404 page where you can see this nice 404 text. And underneath this text you can see a search form where user can search if they accidentally come to this page and also a navigation menu which also helps them to navigate to the right page okay so let's start building this 404 page so first of all to create a 404 page we go to the dashboard then under this template menu we go to the theme builder and from here we click this add new button and want to change the type of the template to single and the post type to 404 page then you can name this template any name i name it 404 page then create template so these are the blocks which is provided by the elementor pro to add any block you can simply click this insert button or if you want to add a whole page template you can choose any template from here or you can choose your safe templates but I don't want neither of these, I want to start from scratch. So I click this close button. So first of all here I want to remove this header. So I go to the page settings and make the page layout to Elementor canvas. Now the page layout changes and the header gone. We want to change the background color. This color is come from the default WordPress theme which is maybe 2020. So to remove this I go to the page settings and go to its style and make the background color to white okay now let's add some content inside this section so first of all i want to add an header so i drag this header to here and another header then i want to add a search form underneath this heading so i search for a search form this is a search form i drag it here then i want to add a menu under this form i search for menu this menu here now first of all i want to add a background image behind this section so i go to this edit section button and go to this style tab and click this classic icon i want to add an image i choose this image and click insert media then I want to resize this image, I want to make it cover and repeat to no repeat and position to center. Then we will add a background overlay above this image. So I go to this background overlay options and choose a gradient overlay. So this is the first color of the gradient and this is the second color. I want to choose the first color to this color. You can rotate the angle of the gradient. I want to make it. 190 degree then lastly we will change the blend mode between the gradient and the background image so i change the blend mode from here i select it to luminosity that looks cool so now let's change the content inside this section first of all i want to change its text to 404 and also its text to now i want to make this text super big and want to place this text middle of the 404 text so let's make it first of all i want to make its color white so i go to style and make its color to white and make it a little bit transparent 
Then I go to typography and make its font to pop ins and make its font size 500 pixel. Change its font weight to 900 and want to add some box shadow. like this and lastly we want to align this text so i go to the alignment and make its center okay then let's play with the second heading so i go to edit heading of this text firstly i want to make it center then i want to change its color to orange okay i want to make this font a little bit bigger so i go to its typography make its font pop in and make its font size a little bit bigger lastly we want to position this text middle of this text here so we go to its advanced tab and go to its positioning and make its position to absolute so after making its position absolute you can drag it like this i want to drag it here okay i like to adjust this a little bit from this field okay now let's design this form so i right click this edit search form firstly i don't like this search icon i want to replace it with text so i go to this button option i select this to text i want to make it a little bit bigger okay 56 then i go to its style tab i want to make its font pop ins change its text color and on the focus i want to make its color black so when i type on this the text color would be the black and make the border radius to zero then let's design this button i want to make the background color of this button to this pink color also make it pop in change its font weight to 400 okay now i want to decrease the width of this form so to do this i want to add an inner section here and inside this inner section i want to put this form so let's do that i insert an inner section here and i delete the second column here and insert this search form inside this inner section now i go to this edit inner section and i can change its width from here all right lastly i want to increase the width of this button and go to its button option and make it a little bit wider okay here you can see the padding of this inner section but i don't want that so i go to edit inner section and go to advance and make its padding to zero so lastly we want to edit this menu so i click this edit icon firstly i want to make it center so i make the alignment center here you can notice when i hover over this menu item an underline comes in i don't want this so i go to this pointer option and make this none then lastly we want to change its font and color so i go to the style tab and go to its typography and make it pop in and then change its color to white so we need a little bit gap between this form and menu so I want to add a little bit padding above this menu so i go to its advanced option and remove the clip icon and increase the top padding to 18 pixel and lastly we want to make this section height fit to the device so to do this i go to the edit section and go to the layout tab from here you can see the height i want to make it to the minimum height and make the minimum height to 100 vh so i click the vh and make it 100 and lastly i want to remove the default padding and the bottom padding of this section so i go to advance and make this padding to zero okay our page is done now i want to publish this template you can see here are the options for displaying the template which means in which place of your website you want to show this template right now it's only showing on the 404 page but you can change it by adding extra condition you can also add this template to any other pages like post or any front page 
but I don't want that so I click the close and click save and close button. Now if I am going to a non-existing URL of my website, you can see this beautiful designed custom 404 page which looks very awesome. So that's how you can create your custom design 404 page using Elementor Pro plugin. If you want to get the plugin, I give the link in the description. You can get it from here. There is no extra cost for you. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up or comment if you have any question. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you later.